A cone has a volume of 108 pi and a base diameter of 12. What is the height of the cone? Okay, so for us to answer this question, you, let's try to evaluate what are the given information. And this is pretty much the strategy to any kind of like algebra or geometry problem, especially one when you're not given a diagram. You should always draw the diagram first. So I'm given a cone. And some information about this cone is given. It says the volume is 108 pi. And the base diameter is 12. So on this diagram that I drew, I am going to draw that. And this is 12. And uh, since the volume is 108, I know that to find the volume, uh, the, vo uh, the volume of a cone is given by this formula, one-third pi r squared h. And as a matter of fact, any kind of um, structure or any type of geometry where you have some base, right, where it culminates to some vertex, the volume of such a cone, um, because this also can be classified as a cone, is... Uh, can be found by this formula. And capital A here is the area of this base. This is A. And the height is the distance between the point to the base. All right. So you're going to see other problems in the future. I'm not saying in this particular geometry regions, but uh, in other geometry regions where they will ask you to apply this concept here. Anyway, so volume is equal to 108 pi is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. Um, and the task is to find out what the height of the cone is. So look, we have all the information here. We know that the radius is equal to 6. So then I can say, oh, this is really... 1 third pi times 6 squared times h is equal to 108 pi. And conveniently, there's only one unknown. So I can eliminate right, um, things and try to isolate. So I see that I have pi's on both sides. I can cross those out. Uh, I know that 6 squared is 36. So I have 1 third times 36 times h is equal to 108 and since uh, 3 goes into 36 12 times, and I know that 12 goes into 108 9 times, so therefore h must equal to 9, which is option 2.